Welcome to Move On Board Activation Program. Start with taking an upright active body posture. Your feet are hip wide apart, your knees are soft and slightly bent. Your lower back is braced, your chest is up. Please make sure that you have enough room for big movements. Warm up. Start with rolling your shoulders forwards, rotating in slow and big circles, using your full range of motion. Now, change sides and roll your shoulders backwards. Make big and slow circles while keeping your chest up. Now pull your shoulders backward and lift them all the way up to your ears. Hold and release. One more time, lift your shoulders all the way up and actively let them drop down again. While you do this, make sure your chest is high and your head is aligned to the spine. Up next, bring your arms up to shoulder high. One palm is facing upwards while the other one is facing downwards. Start twisting your arms and slowly turning your head. Look over your shoulder, always turning your head into the direction of the upwards facing palm. Slowly and controlled movements. This is a great exercise to mobilize your neck and shoulder area and to promote the circulation there. Try to make the twist even bigger. Now, slowly let your arms hang down again. Start rotating your whole upper body. Your chest stays high, your back and stomach are braced. Try to keep your hips still and only rotate your upper body. Your shoulders stay away from your ears and your shoulder and neck area is relaxed. Next, slowly bend forward, keeping your legs straight. You should feel a slight stretch in your hamstrings while stretching down. Slowly come up again. Vertebra by vertebra. Always keeping your lower back engaged. Slowly bend down again. Your arms and head are relaxed. And slowly come up again, vertebra by vertebra. When you come up, make sure your lower back is engaged. This exercise mobilizes and activates your whole spine. Next, you stand on one leg. Make sure your knee is slightly bent and your chest is high. We want to mobilize and activate your hips. First, we start with the right side. Rotate your right leg to the outside while keeping your hips still. Only the right leg is moving. Make big and slow circles backwards. Hold your balance and keep your chest high. Your back and stomach are always engaged. Change to the other side. Stand on your right leg now, keeping your knees slightly bent. Rotate your left leg to the outside, moving in big and slow circles. Now, bring your feet together, bend your knees and put your hands on your knees. Make circles with your knees. Big and controlled movements. Now change directions and circle the other way around to the right. This will nicely mobilize and activate your legs. Up next, we are going to mobilize your ankles. Stand on your left leg 
and pull up your right knee. Go ahead and circle your right ankle outwards. Change directions and circle inwards now. Make sure your chest stays high and your stomach and back stay engaged in order to keep your core activated. Now switch sides again, stand on your right leg. Pull your left knee and circle your ankle outwards and inwards. Come back to the center and shake out your arms and legs. Now you are warmed up and ready for further activation exercises. Balance training. We start with a balance exercise to challenge your coordination and sense of balance to further activate your body and mind. First, stand on your left leg and swing your right leg forwards and backwards. Keeping your back and stomach muscles engaged, your chest is high. You swing your arms at the same time to further support the rotational movement of your upper body. Switch sides. Stand on your right leg and swing your left leg forwards and backwards. Your arm swing supports the movement. Hold your balance. Try not to touch the floor with your foot while you are swinging. Go ahead and switch sides once more. Stand on your left leg again. Swing your right leg and make your movements even bigger now. When you feel comfortable, close your eyes now and try this exercise with closed eyes. Really challenge your balance and coordination. Now, switch sides again. Swing your left leg. After you've found your balance and start feeling comfortable, close your eyes and challenge your sense of balance on this side. Next up is our second balance exercise, which is a standing scale. For, th for this exercise, you will stand on one leg, grab the knee of the other leg with both hands, pull it all the way up towards your chest and then let go of your knee and push your leg backwards to come into a standing scale to challenge your balance. Now your turn. First, stand on your left leg and pull your right knee all the way up to your chest. Your shoulders stay low, away from your ears, while you pull your shoulder blades together. Then push your right leg straight backwards, bend forwards from your hips and come into a standing scale. Open your arms to both sides to support your balance. Hold for a couple of seconds and make sure that your hip does not rotate. Now switch to the other side. Stand on your right leg and grab your left knee, open up your chest. Then bend forward from your hips, push your left knee straight backwards and come into a standing scale. Hold your balance, keep your chest up high without rotating your hips. Up next, we are going to do coordination exercises to address your sense of motor abilities and thereby help you to stay alert and focused. 
Now bring your feet hip wide apart. Slightly bend your knees and push your hip backwards a little bit. Your chest stays high, your back stays braced. Put your hands on your thighs. Your left hand starts tapping on one spot, while your right hand starts moving up and down on your thigh. Move both hands at the same time. Maybe you can even do the movement without looking at your hands. Now switch sides. Your right hand is tapping now, while your left hand is moving up and down your thighs. Try to find your rhythm. Once more, change sides. Do you feel that you already find it easier to coordinate the different hand movements? And for one last time, switch sides again. One hand is tapping while the other one is moving up and down. Remember to keep your chest high and your back engaged. For our second coordination exercise, bring your attention to your right arm and fully focus on the arm movement. Make a fist and stretch out your right arm over your head, then to the right and back down. Try to concentrate on this movement. Repeat the sequence. Now switch to your left arm. Your left arm goes up, above your head, then to the left and then back down. Repeat the sequence and memorize it so that you can do it automatically without needing to concentrate on it. Okay, now challenge yourself and combine both movements step by step. First, both arms are coming all the way over your head. Then your right arm goes to the right and the left one goes down. Then right arm goes down while the left one goes up. Next, right arm goes up and the left one goes down. Then left arm up and right arm to the side. For the next round, we change sides. This time your left arm goes up to the side and then down. Next, focus on your right arm. Your right arm goes all the way up and then all the way back down. Again, up and down. After a while, you will be able to memorize the arm movements on both sides and do them automatically. Now challenge yourself and combine both sequences together. Fully focus on my arm movements and follow along. Core training. Bring your arms wide open to the high of your shoulders. Your chest is up and you bring both shoulder blades down, pulling them together. Tense up your back muscles. Your shoulders are open as possible. Now rotate your hands backwards, your palms are up. Make small bouncy movements. Activate your whole upper body and increase your blood flow in this area. Release, shake out your arms. Do this again. Bring your arms up, your chest is lifted and make small bouncy movements. Your shoulders stay down and your shoulder blades are pulled together. Your chest stays high, very good. Now, for the next exercise, please get a chair. We are going to further activate your whole body now, especially your core. Put your hands on the chair, shoulders are positioned over your wrists. Your knees are up. You keep your body straight in one line from head to shoulders, to back, to hip, and all the way to your ankles. And tense up your stomach and glutes as tight as you can. Now lift one leg into the air, shortly hold the tension and bring it back down. Then lift the other leg. Go ahead and alternate lifting up one leg at a time while tensing up your back and glutes. Try to keep your hips still. Keep your abs engaged all the time. And keep
keep your body straight. Now to further challenge yourself, you bring one knee to your elbow. So lift one leg up and pull your knee towards your elbow over the side. Remember to always brace your abs and lower back as tight as you can. Slow and controlled movements. For the last exercise, stand in front of your chair. The chair stands behind your back. Your feet are hip wide apart. Make sure your toes and your knees are slightly rotated outwards. Your chest is nice and high and you pull your shoulder blades together. Prepare to squat down. Imagine that you want to sit down on the chair. So you push your hips back and down while your abs are engaged and your back is straight. Tense up your legs and glutes. Right before you touch the chair, you push through your heels and come all the way right up again. You repeat this exercise a couple of times to maximally activate your muscle cells and thereby increase your circulation and oxygen flow in your entire body. This was the activation video. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had some fun and I hope you feel awake and fresh for your shift.